Hey friend, and welcome back to RGD Gaming, the least toxic and most fun computer in all of gaming. In this video today, I'm going to teach you how to get what everybody wants, free ELO. The way to do that, pick the new champions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs> now, I'm, you know, I am joking here to an extent, but with the new champions, Riot always breaks them. They never come out and they're not that strong. Every single new champion comes out a little bit too strong, and I think this is for a couple of reasons. The first one is they want people to like the champion. The second one is they want people to buy new skins. And the third one is they always struggle to have a balance. I guess in a perfect world they'd have the entire system balanced, but there's just way too many things complicating how the game works to have champions be balanced. So I think really what it comes down to is the money aspect. If somebody ha tries out a new champion, they win with them, they're going to buy a skin. Case in point, <laughs> at shortly after this video, and I did really well with Zeri, uh, I actually went and bought the skin on her. Uh, so Riot got me. In this match, you'll see that I did first pick Zeri, so I didn't really know what I was going to be playing into, but it ended up working out pretty well because they picked Nautilus, Shen, and Cassidin. All three of those champions actually have shields, and Zeri's perk is she steals a percentage, I think it's 60% of the shield, from her enemies. So you're going to see how that plays into her team fights, and I think that'll actually be something that she is played around or picked later on in the draft once they nerf her, and you're actually trying to pick her as a balanced champion or to have her in your rotation of champions here. On the loading screen, you can see... I'm the only Grandmaster, and so what that most likely means is, I don't want to say I have to carry the game, but that's what it sometimes means when you're the highest ranked person. Some of these guys are probably better than me, like I don't, I don't mean to say that I'm obviously the best here, but it's something to keep in mind that, um, you, you know, if you're the highest ranked in there, most likely you're going to be one or two of the better players on your team, and so keep that in mind that you'll probably need to be the carry or if you're a support player or support champion, you're going to have to help somebody become the carry. Now, starting out here, I am against a Tristana and a Nautilus. And really what I'm thinking is Zeri is a late game champ. You can see how new I am. Uh, I'm actually reading the abilities as, as you go. I think this was maybe my somewhere between 7 and 10 times I had played her. I want to be generous with that. I, it could have been my fifth time, but I really don't know for sure. I'd played a handful of games on her, and whenever I can, whenever there's first pick, I'm always pre-picking Zeri and trying to switch for first. So, And most people are accommodating to that, so it's pretty good. There was only one game that somebody didn't allow me to do that. And now what I'm doing is really just focusing on farm. I know Nautilus is probably somewhere, usually in that bush, right where John is going. Um, oh, no, there he showed, showed up a little bit late. And now I'm trying to poke him a little bit with my first ability. Um, I have found that with Zeri, I actually like maxing out her first ability first because you can spam it. It actually slows the enemy and it can also trigger her perk, which is stealing the shield. I talked to my buddy and he liked, he had a really great game where he maxed out the second ability. Um, and it ended up working out better for him. I tried it once, it didn't work. That doesn't mean it's not good. It just could be difference in play styles. Um, could have been the matchup too, or what was going on. He might be better with shooting it over the wall because the second ability fires through walls. Um, so it might just be a difference in play style. So first thing we got here, a little bit of fight gotcha, breaking bitch. out. I'm trying to poke them over the wall with my second ability. We're in kind of deep. And looks like we are outgunned by a lot here. So one, two go down, and I'm really just trying not to die here. I'm trying to poke them a little bit, but mostly not die. And we start out 0-3, which is not a great start for our team. And now you can see her second ability. I think that Tristana probably just isn't used to it. Like He kind of tried to dodge it, but maybe wasn't ready for that to happen. It's also possible he just didn't care because um, he was trying to finish up the lane. And here, I'm trying to get out of there. You can see me struggle <laughs> with Zeri hitting the honey fruit. Um, I actually missed my first shot with it. Now they're so low, and I'd love to get a kill on them, but 
Unfortunately, they're going to get away. And that's okay. Now I just need to get these waves. Or this wave, excuse me. And one of the things that I recommend you practice a little bit on, because you'll see it a couple times in this match, is farming minions and shooting the honey fruit. It is a different experience entirely to shoot the honey fruit. You have to... I always use the buttons, like the tower and the minion button, and it seems to help out a lot, but aiming at the honey fruit is brutal. Uh, I'm sure there's people that are really good at aiming that can do it regularly, uh, but I did struggle a little bit with it when I was trying to do it. So sometimes I will, but mostly I'm just pressing the buttons, uh, tower or minion, depending on what's going on or where I am. If I'm under the enemy tower, if I'm under my tower. And we're in deep again. And we got a two versus one. Oh, and Shen shows up. He's doing really well. That Shen seems to be everywhere now. <laughs> But that's okay. So one and six, not a great start. Uh, another trick you can do with Zeri is shooting through your own tower, which causes the um, your second ability to do the enhanced version of the attack. Nice job hitting that tornado, Jenna. And now we got to be thinking about farming. Oh, there's Nautilus. Let's see if I can hit him. And I hit him with the second ability, so that's good. Now, Witsari, since she is a late game champion and a team fight champion, um, that's really what I'm looking to do is group with my team, and dragons are going to be great for her. Uh, but I don't want to get too crazy early on. And you can see here, I actually I didn't know if shooting the camera that you couldn't see if that mattered. Okay, so you can sort of see the perk, her perk here, where Nautilus comes in. And he uses his shield, and I'm actually able to get it. And I use my ultimate. So that was a great fight. That worked out great. And now I'm 1-0-1, oh, and, and 3-6 and six is a lot better than 1-6. And, and so now I'm trying to ping my team, like, let's back off, let's reset. We got Dragon in 30 seconds. We want to get our shops in, and we want to group at Dragon. And I almost always, after my first full item, I buy the first boots, like the most basic boots, Depending on what's going on in the match, I might buy the tier 2 boots, like, let's say the enemy team is all attack damage. Well, I'm probably buying the steel caps in that point, or say we have three um, ability power enemies, I might buy the um, the ones that, I can't even think of the name right at this moment, but the ones that block abilities. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind, it's just sort of a general rule of thumb. Nautilus hits me again. And that's okay, I saw uh, Moo Moo was coming, so I wasn't too worried about it if I got hit with the hook. And now we're saying attack the dragon, which is good. We got four of us here, and they're on Rift Herald, so this is fine. Um, I, I like trading dragon for Rift Herald personally. And now actually we can turn on these guys. And let's see if I can get over the wall. I can. So there's another thing, Zari can jump over walls. Shen comes in and actually gives me, if you can see, I got a huge shield right there. And he's able to get away. And we're being collapsed on, so Nautilus is coming, Cassadin's coming. And I'm trying to slow Shen down from resetting by shooting over the wall. Singe is here, he throws me, that's no big deal. I alt, but I don't know if we're going to get much out of it. And we've got a lot of us here, but let's see. There's Nautilus, and I jump over the wall and get the kill. So 3 all in one which is a really great start and absolutely devastating to the other team for how they started. And now we're 6-6 six and six as opposed to 1-6. and six. And we've got a lot of pressure here, but we're pretty low. They're able to get a kill on us. That's okay. Cassadin is just farming up that mid-wave. Uh, which is good for him because he can scale really well into the late game and be very tough to deal with, with his abilities and his ability, like, so he can flash, and that's tough to deal with, and he can blow people up. But, me being 3-0-2 now, also a good start. And, oh, actually, I did buy the Tier 2 boots this match. I think they have 4 attack damage, if I'm not... Yeah, so they've got 4 attack damage, and so you can see right there, uh, I didn't even realize that I did that this match, but I did, and that's because now I can resist some of their attacks. And you can see I use the second ability to 
hit Tristana. Nautilus hits me with Hook again. <laughs> He's really got my number on that. So I all I say I miss one attack there. And Shen's coming in, but you can see the shield that I'm building off of that Shen ult, actually. And so we're able to get a kill. Two kills. And you can see that I just have that shield there. And I'm able to get it off of Shen. And now, actually, I get it off Keston and 4 0 and 4. So. Now they're in a really tough spot, because we got first dragon, I'm pretty fed at this point, and I am Zeri, so it's unfortunate for them, but really good for us. Now we're ahead in kills, 9-7. And, and what I'm looking to do now is rotate. Let's see, I see they're coming to bot, actually. So I'm going to go defend my turret. I just don't want to give... Tristana can blow turrets up really quickly. I don't want to give them the opportunity to do that. And so you can see I'm standing behind my tower, still working out the range of that, but I'm going to use that second ability to help clear the wave and a whiff. <laughs> oh, what a noob. Uh, but that's all right. That's going to happen, especially when you're learning the champion. You'll see, um, I might have mentioned this, but a couple of times I actually miss my attacks. And that's just getting used to Zari, locking onto the target. You can avoid most of the misses with her by locking on the target. So if you see those portraits on the side when I'm in a fight, uh, if you click on the portrait that you want to attack, um, that will help you not to miss those. And now I can't get to that fight in top, so I'm just going to farm up the jungle here. And when you're the ADC and you're a little bit ahead or ahead at all or even tied with your jungle, take their jungle. You are the carry, and so you need the gold more than them. And in this case, Amumu is resetting and in top, uh, so it's really not that big of a deal. And so let's see if I can do it. I do it correctly this time. And so I alt, and I'm thinking I'm just going to 2v1 this, no big deal. I really just wanted to defend my turret. And I missed the second ability, which is unfortunate, because Nautilus is stopped. probably still here. Oh no, he's not in that bush. Okay, I had a cam there. Oh, there he is. Yeah. And now I think maybe I can get Tristana. And if I can kill Tristana, I can definitely get away from the Nautilus. But now I'm in a bad spot. And he's chasing me. But I use my first ability to slow him, second ability to slow, and now he's stuck under tower. And I'm building a shield. And that's the power of Zerg. So you can peel. Hit them, poke them with your first ability so you're doing damage, you're slowing them, and if there's somebody with a shield, you actually um, get a shield from it too. So it's, it's a triple threat, and it's ridiculous to deal with if you're the enemy team. Now I see dragons respawning. So I'm 5 0 and 4, and you'll see that I bought Guardian as my second item. That is a very rare buy, but what I'm thinking here is um, I'm a noob because I can't hit that camera, but that's okay. I thought being at the dragon was more important. But what I'm thinking about with buying Guardian is if it can save me from dying and giving somebody the shutdown gold, that's going to be way better than having some other item that I just die on. Um, so now we got a fight breaking out, and I ult. I'm in the middle of it. Get another kill here. We got a lot of action. And it's, uh... Oh, and I popped the Guardian. That didn't take very long. And able to come back alive. We're able to get the kill and clean it up and we get all of them. Um, so now after we wipe their entire team, what am I looking at? I'm looking at the map. I'm trying to see can I push tower down? Can I steal the enemy jungle? Like what can I do? Like After you finish a fight and you wipe out the enemy team or you get a few kills, the thing about getting kills, what you're really trying to do is kill them so you can take towers. Kill them so you can take objectives. Kill them so you can steal jungle. What you'll see a ton is people get into a fight, whether it's necessary or not, and then they'll just reset. Um, no, once you have the time, you really only need a few seconds to take an enemy camp, push a tower down, whatever it is. Maybe it's even just shove a wave. And what you really want to do is get a couple kills and take something from the enemy. Um, stealing the enemy jungle, pushing down towers gives your team gold, or it steals it from the enemy team. And now we got this fight breaking out, which is maybe not the best fight. 
to take, so we should probably just back off. Uh, but now, Amumu wants to engage, so I guess we're doing it. I don't have my ultimate up, and I'd really like to have it when we're going into fights, but okay, so we're going to back off. So that's good. And right now, I am 6 0 and 8, and we got two dragons, so we're looking really good here. And let's see if we can take down this tower. Oh. We should probably back off here. A little bit of poke on them. And back off, and we've got the next objective spawning in five seconds, so we should be aware of that. And probably get a can there if we can. And if you can see, Nautilus is in that bush. I'm able to poke him over the wall. And we got Baron up. Sorry does have a bit of a mana issue. Um, especially early on, you run out a lot, run out of mana a lot. Uh, you know, I don't know if it take mana flow ban or or what, but it's something that I'm learning to deal with. And we got fight breaking out, but we're not all here, so really we need to back off, wait for a Mumu and Jenna, and I'm paying like retreat, let's back off, so I'm just trying to poke and help Garen get out of here, uh, but they are chasing us, and here comes a Mumu, a little bit late to the party, but that's okay, and now let's see if we can turn on this, so he goes in, that's fine, and I alt, so now I get a kill, and I want to jump over should have jumped over the wall. That was a bad move, but I do use stasis, so I'm able to stay alive. Kassadin comes in, uses stasis, and we get the kill on him. So that's perfect. Let's see if we get Shen. We do. And so now we got their team. I'm going to clear this wave and bot. Amumu's pushing in the mid wave, so that's good. I do got a bunch of gold, so I need to shop soon. Let's see if Amumu can get... See, so Amumu's doing exactly what I'm talking about. It's perfect. Like, he has enough time to shove this wave in, get pressure on the enemy, gets a tower, and now he's paying Baron that there's a ward there, so that's good. I'm just going to clear this camp, and then... I can see this wave, and I think, ah, probably one more. Tristana's up there, and I'm hoping I just don't get collapsed on. So I can see Tristana, Singe, and uh, Nautilus, so not a big deal. I'm going to go shop, and then we should probably be trending towards Baron and aware of when the next dragon's going to spawn. So we got 38 seconds. And I'm going to try to save this tower. Looks like Singe might be going in for it. Um, and so I want to save the tower, but I see a fight breaking out in mid, and being with your team is almost always the right decision, uh, because there are three of them there, and if they get collapsed on, they can get wiped pretty easily. So I go in, able to get a kill, and now we got a four versus two. Singe is nowhere to be found. You know, maybe he's resetting. Who knows what the heck he's doing right now? Um, but we got a move was able to get Baron. And that was definitely a mistake on their part. I mean, Singe, they gave us Baron. We had, you know, an outnumbered fight in mid. And that's how you close out games. I mean, you just don't screw around. You want to be with your team, group, and especially Zari. Um, you can see that. So better than 100% of uh, Zari's in the same tier. So that felt pretty good. I actually took a screenshot to post on the channel. Um, but that was mostly because of their team. I mean, they had three people with shields, and I was able to capitalize on that, and it used Zari's perk really well, and I was able to get ahead early. How to get free elo. Use the new champions, and get free wins. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I see you on the Rift, and GG.